Hey, what's up, everybody? Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. Uh, I got a question yesterday on how I organize my humidor or, and what my humidor setup is. So this is my display humidor where I keep stuff that I'm about to smoke, or in this case, it's actually everything that I'll be blind taste testing. So my wife will be drawing out of this stash. As you can see, it's sitting nicely at 69% right now. I opened it up a little earlier, so it's uh, recovering and it's pretty much back there already. What I'm using for humidity is I use both the silica beads and the gel. Uh, I find using both of them allows them to basically fight against each other. The silica absorbs moisture better and the gel gives it off better. Uh, all I do, I keep the gel beads hydrated and I let the silica stay dry and it pretty much regulates my humidity for me just by sucking up any excess. Then right here on the right hand side you can see I actually have a little fan. Uh, I got this off of Amazon for five bucks and it's attached to a DC adapter that came with this with this adapter where you can cut off the leads and screw them in and then connect it to the uh, DC adapter. So it works out and it's really quiet. And I just needed something small just to move the air a little bit because it's got such a huge air space. I was finding that my hygrometer down low would be way different than the one up here. And obviously this one's uh, analog, so it's not gonna be super accurate. But I found as soon as I added the the fan, it really helped out. And also with this particular one, since it's relatively cheap, I think it's about 115 bucks, 120 bucks, somewhere around there. I also added weather stripping along the inside. Uh, and that really helped out. And uh, the first time after you lock it up, it'll crush down the, the weather stripping and seal it up nice and good. All right, so now that's my display humidor. I will show you my larger storage. All right, so here is my igluador, and it's actually an igloo, so. <laughs> um, I have the same um, power cord that I have for my small humidor. Uh, I have also set up a comu computer fan in here, but it's a big one, and it's on a timer. So as you can see right here at the top, it's far off the lid, so it blows up towards the lid. It's just to keep the air moving inside my humidor. And um, same thing, I just barely opened it, it's sitting at 71%, it's dropping. Uh, same thing, I have a big thing of the gel beads, and then down there I have some silica beads, and then another thing of gel and silica right there. And it works out quite well. Um, so this is where I keep the rest of my stock. But that's it. I just have the, the computer fan. It comes on once every six hours for a half hour. It blows up towards the lid just to keep the air moving, just so I don't get any dead spots. And that's really all it's there for. You can see I have a leaf in there. I was curious how pliable a whole leaf would be, and I just haven't taken that out of there uh, when it's sitting at 70%. So there you go. That's my major cigar storage. If you have any questions, give me a shout and I will try to answer them. So see you next time. Later.